This is The Swimming Show. Adrenaline this Sunday afternoon. We're coming to you from Ground Zero Adventures here in Lanseria, north of Johannesburg. Dumelang Nakim Matapelo Wakapale. Kwadiari Palane is said to be the most beautiful month in South Africa, and I, for one, think I have to agree. Also, in this month of October, internationally, we recognize Obesity and World Food Day. This week, though, we've come to the end of National Nutrition Week. On the aquatic front though, we are gaining momentum very fast. But let's see what we have in store for you in today's show. Hello Matabelo. October is indeed a stunning month to be alive in South Africa. So the swimming show. The swimming show. It is more SA short course nationals highlights from Devon. SA Schools Water Polo from Port Elizabeth. Kajenu, the boys, Makaula Khan, 2017. The swimming show. The swimming show. The swimming show is doing some research on plastic and general water pollution. We want to do our bit and create awareness that will benefit us all and the environment. We want clean waterways to practice our spot in clean rivers and dams to swim in, and most importantly, not get sick from pollution in any of our waters. Please think twice when you throw away the packet or those wrappers. This is where they end up, not good for men or animal. continuing to fly South Africa's flag up high at the World Cup Series in Europe with an impressive medal hole. You go, Chad. He was also a very popular winner at the SA Short Course Championships that were held in Durban recently. Here now are some more highlights from the Kings Park Pool Complex. Park Pool Complex in Devon. This is the premier competition swimming venue in our country. The short course is contested over 25 meters. To call the action in this race, let's welcome Dwayne Deloka. Time now for highlights from the men's 400 meter freestyle final. Ruan Rust, the 21 year old from Tux, is next to Seagull's Calvin Kutsia, senior in lane five. The blue cap belongs to Roberto Gomes from Waterborne Swim Club. Tunisian Usama Maluli still holds the African record of 3.36.75. 3 minutes 44.09 seconds is the qualifying time for China in December though. An even turn after the first lap. In lane three, it's 20-year-old Josh Danhauser from Seagulls, although he's currently swimming for Auburn University in Alabama in the United States. No one surging for the lead as yet. The swimmer's rather closely bunched. In lane seven, it's the young Indian swimmer, Aryan Makija. He's excelled at junior level and will want to do well here. Going in lane one, Waterborne Swim Club Brent Sudoki is attempting a breakaway. Dan Auser had a good turn. He levels with Sudoki. Calvin Kutsia doing well from lane five. Now into the last 100 meters. That's four lengths of this 25 meter pool. Josh Dan Auser, Ruan Ras have been playing cat and mouse. This is the battle up front. Well, they're not on qualifying pace, but they are going stroke for stroke to win the 400 meter short course title. In lane one, Brent Sudoki hanging back in third place. 18 year old Arian Makija not far off in lane seven. The leaders turn together with 50 meters to go. Miles Brown holds the South African record in this event. Three minutes, 37.51 seconds. 
Not on the radar for these two swimmers, though. Certainly headed for an exciting finish. Still neck and neck. It's Dan Alza versus Russ. Even for nearly 200 meters, who will win here? It's Ruan Russ who's going to get it. It was all in the final stroke and the final touch. Ariane Makidja glides into third, just ahead of Sudoki. The Kings Park crowd really enjoying this race. Great sportsmanship as well between these swimmers. Here now the official results. This venue is ideally situated between Hartebeers and Johannesburg, but it is also just a stone throw away from Pretoria for everybody who would like to come and try a bit of adventure. Time for a quick break, stay with us. The swimming show. Our water polo players can be very proud of their performances at the Youth and Senior World Championships, the best South African rankings at international competitions. Very well done to you. Right now, let's revisit the school's water polo championships that were held in Port Elizabeth. Over to you, DK. The swimming show. Nelson Mandela Bay hosted the prestigious SA Schools Water Polo Interprovincial Championships in the city of Port Elizabeth recently. Makaula Khanga Nani Atleti Batsieti Babanga Damani Newton Park Aquatic. The SA Schools Water Polo Finals are presented by Carrick Wealth Management. Makaula Khanga Bashanya Naba Under 19 Hukopani Jualu Western Province and Moholi Central Haute. The teams are introduced to the good amount of spectators in attendance. Four eight-minute quarters will determine the winners. The referees and FINA accredited officials are Dion Willis and Mike Betty. Our match commentator is also the chairperson of SA Schools Water Polo South Africa, Monghari Steve Lamar. Both coaches are experienced, both referees are experienced. We have a FINA delegate on the table, and away we go with uh, Henko Rademeyer swimming and Josh Faber just not even trying to go. Uh, Janka Rademeyer from Afis in Pretoria. And with Northerns uh, not participating in the under 19 division, he qualifies to play for Central Kaateng. And that's Kaateng who are on attack. And it was Chris Beamish who managed to uh, secure possession. So Western Province have got an extra man on defense while they wait for their last defender to come up the pool. And the first goal comes off a deflection of Joshua Faber. Well, that's a really unfortunate situation because Faber threw the ball away from Province with that lob and it was unwarranted. He didn't need to do that. They had all the extra man and then uh, he just had a deflection. So the instructions from the coach, Lado Clinic, simple. They're looking for the rotation and it's going to be a double rotation and uh, let's see if the players can execute it. The player I think they're going to try and target is their number five. Look here last year. Then the rotation started to come. It's Miguel Marouche pulling around. Jared Robinson, a lot of water space all the time. And yes, it's a magnificent goal. Magnificent goal scored by Liam Savinia. So 
Uh, Central Kauteng are leading Western Province by two goals to nil. So we come to the end of the first quarter of the boys under 19 a final. At the end of the first quarter, Central Kauteng Kiona Ile Mata Pelika Ni Tatsi Bedi Hunod. Bim is carrying the ball up the right. Brandon Burke back to Bimish. A bottle, big box. Managed to get the ball, but there's going to be exclusion on Miguel Marush. Some really good work by Dylan Watt. Uh, came in on the second centre forward, and uh, unfortunately for Miguel Marush, uh, unable to stop the movement. Rostone looking across the other side of the pool to see if there's anything coming from there. Yes, yeah, so and a penalty's been awarded, and that's against Ethan Corden Blaker. And uh, it was Hugh Bedford who came in on the side, managed to get on the inside of Ethan, and uh, the pass came in from the left hand side of the pool and uh, rewarded with a penalty. So it's Rostone against Keiji Mutaka. And it's Ross Stone who manages to get Western Province on the scoreboard. And uh, perhaps that will ignite a little bit of uh, spark in this Western Province side so they can start coming back. And a uh, really good goal. Really good goal by Daniel Smith, uh, Daniel Klein. Uh, all set up by the, by the right wing. This is a must score situation for Western Province. And it's Ross Stone, the Rodnerbosch boy Ross Stone, who brings Western Province back to with a one goal of Central Karte. Single attack. I think just being patient, very patient. Janko Rademeyer. Uh, that's some patience from the young boy from Afis. They just had a shot, just regained possession of the ball, and he had a wayward shot, which. Keegan, uh, Keegan Clark had no problem catching. At the halftime whistle, Western Province have clawed back but still trailed by three goals to two. Just over two and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Seven seconds left. And that is uh, Miguel Marush producing a little bit of a miracle shooting from a point near the halfway line. And uh, Keaton Clark just found a little bit wanting. So uh, Sendra Kauteng now extend their lead through Miguel Marush's goal to four goals to two. And so there we have it to the end of the third quarter. Only one goal in the third chaka. Central Gauteng in Matapeli can touch in the Hutsepe. The Western Province have a corner. James Hobbitzel. Brandon Burke. Brandon Burke with a lovely shot from the outside. Uh, unfortunately for Kauteng, the block his hands were not up there. So what a real great opportunity for Western Province. They fall back one more goal. And the score is now 4-3.
to Central Kharteng. And are we going to see Western Province drawing, bringing the scores level? Josh Faber. Oh, what a great save. Keiji Mataka, that was a superb save. Take a bow for the crowd, that was really good. And yet another good save, but now Central Kharteng have got a counter attack. I would like to see if they can extend their lead to two goals. just content to move the ball. Really good shooting from the perimeter once again by number 12, Miguel Marouche. And that extends their lead again. So Central Kauteng are now leading Western Province by five goals to three. And you've got to remember that that goal and that extra man came from a Western Province extra man. Western Province moving the ball around the back. Another lovely long range shot, beating the blocker. That was Oliver, Oliver Scudemans beating the blocker. Getting himself into a good position in the, the shooting lane opening up. I'm sure Coach Vladimir Prinik's not going to be happy about that. So Western Province pull it back and Central Kauteng still lead by five goals to four. Western Province need to capitalize on the extra man. It's a feature that they really were good at last night when they played KZN. in. Still in what? Win score, back to depth to what? And they took a chance, they played the post man. That was Liam Brown, he was free on the post. Uh, there were two Gauteng players next to him and both of them ignored him. And uh, although the ball did touch uh, KG Mitaka, he was unable to keep the ball. So the scores are level. They need to capitalize, they need to be patient. And the one can only but see that Ross Stone is going to have something to do with this result. James Abutzel moving the ball around, and it's Josh Faber. Josh Faber who shoots to put Western Province in the lead. And we have one minute and 12 seconds to go in the final. This Western Province crowd has now erupted. And uh, I think we're going to have an exciting final minute and a half of the minutes of this game. There's four seconds left. Western Province in charge. And at the moment, Central Karting in possession of the ball. And we have a long range shot and it's way one of the goals. Western Province are the 2017 Schools Water Polo South Africa champions. They've come back from a two goal deficit in what was a really exciting game of water polo. And they've come back, deservedly so, and they've won this game by taking the opportunities. Wow, well done Western Province. How close can it get? The final score, Western Province 6 and Central Houtem 5. Oh, shoot. Um, possibly, possibly one of the best finals that's ever happened here. Um, every year, uh, the standard just seems to raise. And man, yeah, we, we left it until the death, but we found something in us and all those hours paid off and we're thankful for that. Well done to Gauteng for giving us a great game. In the beginning we started off extremely slowly, um, kind of uh, playing into Gauteng's game, but then in the last, in the final shock we finally kind of turned it on and managed to take the win at the, at the very end there. This has been the SA Schools Water Polo Final in Nguyen Kisedi Tweki Bahan Nelson Mandela Bay and Carrick Wealth Management. If you've just joined us, you are watching the swimming show on SABC2. And you are just in time for some more day three action from the SA Short Course Nationals. Let's now join our race commentators from the Kings Park Pool Complex in Durban.
a short raise up next. This is the 50 meter breaststroke final, the Shebana Jualo Libi final. Mariela Fenter occupies the champion's lane. She's from Waterborne Swimming Club in Gaute. Bree Parker has lane three and Jade Simons is in lane five. I think they'll be the biggest threat to Fenter. Only two lanes here. After a long light, they rise and then stroke together. Now is the blue cap of 18-year-old Mariela Fenter with a slim lead. 14-year-old Kathleen Delange is doing very well in lane 7. Jade Simons sees her move and reacts quickly. Mariela Fenter gets it, but who will get the silver and bronze medals? A very good second place for young Kathleen Delange. She finishes just ahead of 17-year-old Jade Simons. Mandeville Dolphins Tatum Payel is next, a race that really showcased our fresh, young talent. The 50-meter breaststroke A final now. An impressive lineup, but none more so than our Commonwealth double gold medalist, Tatiana Schoenmacher. Lara van Niekerk now, and then Sills Club, Jamie Reynolds. Chris Mandel spots the red cap from Tax. Then it is Marisol van Jansfeld and Talia Buota. The pressure is off for Tatiana Schoenmacher. She qualified for world champs in the morning heats. The required time, 30.70 seconds. At the 10, she already has a commanding lead. Larafa Nikerk is next best in lane 5. The world record in this event fell last weekend in Hungary and now belongs to Jamaican Alia Atkinson. Spoonmaker wins 30.39, another world championship qualifying time. Van Nikerk is second, and the third place goes to Jade Nessa from Waterborne Swimming Club. More South African short course action next time on The Swimming Show. They say you are what you eat. Give that some thought this week. A healthy, nutritious, balanced diet is very important. Junk food, you know, and it's pretty good, but it can become very detrimental to your health because you can become obese or even overweight. And that we do not want. We are looking for healthy summer bodies, right, ladies and gents? Well, for those of you who are taking a spring break, I hope that you are having the time of your life and that you are always staying water safe. The team and I greet you from Ground Zero Adventures. This place couldn't have had a better name. You better check it out. Till next time, take care of yourself. The Swimming Show.